Welcome to Cooking with Gerald. On today's episode, I'll be making shrimp scampi over angel hair pasta. Before we get started, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'd like to say welcome and please come back because I'll be posting a lot of good content. And for those of you that are return viewers, welcome back. And please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and go ahead and share with everyone that you know as well as leave me some comments down below. I will be uploading videos regularly. So go ahead and click that notification bell in the top right hand corner of the screen so you don't miss out on the videos each time I do upload a new one. Now on to the video. Start off with um, a pound of shrimp. You can use the large shrimp, medium shrimp. These are medium, which is 41 to 60 to a bag. Also, four tablespoons of butter, uh, two tablespoons of parsley. That's dry. If you have fresh parsley, you use about a, a quarter of a cup, um, about a quarter of a teaspoon or an eighth, eighth of a teaspoon to a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Um, that's to your taste. Salt to your taste. I have a little bit of Old Bay in addition to the regular uh, kosher salt, about a teaspoon of black pepper, the zest of two lemons, and then a one large shallot or two small shallots. Also, the juice of two lemons, extra virgin olive oil, Parmesan, a uh, half a cup of white wine, and some angel hair pasta. Let's get it going. All right, so this is a pretty quick dish. First thing I'm gonna do is turn the stove on or the, the skillet on. Also um, put on a small pot of water for the pasta. We're gonna start off with two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. One, two. Let that come up to temperature. All right, so now that the butter and the olive oil has come to temperature, we're going to put in the garlic. Also with the butter, I use unsalted butter instead of um, salted butter. That way you can control your salt content. And this is about four large cloves of garlic. Keep in mind also that you're gonna need a lot of garlic because it's shrimp scampi, of course. And then also I'm gonna go ahead and add the chili flakes. Let those saute. You want to cook the rawness out of the garlic so it doesn't have such a large bite to it. it takes about a minute. All right, probably hear something bubbling. That's my pasta over there cooking. Now what we're gonna do is add the wine, salt, and black pepper. Also, I forgot to add the shallots. I should have added the shallots in when I actually added the garlic to the oil, so I'll go ahead and put those in as well. What we want to do is cook this, let it simmer for about two to three minutes until it reduces in half. So because we put the cold vegetables in there, it kind of brought the temperature down. 
but it'll come back up. So be right back once this has reduced in half. All right, so it's been about three to four minutes and the wine has reduced to half. So what we're gonna do now is add in our shrimp. We wanna cook those for about two to three minutes just until you see them turn pink, which means that they're done uh, because you don't wanna overcook the shrimp. And we'll be right. So as you can see, it's been about three to four minutes. The shrimp started to curl up, which means that they're pretty much done almost. And they've uh, turned a little pink from opaque. What we're going to do now is add in the lemon zest, the remainder of the butter, the lemon juice, Put that together, let that simmer for a little bit and reduce. What that butter is going to do, adding it at this point, what it's going to do is it's going to thicken up the sauce a little bit. And that's what we want so it'll coat the pasta. You could also add about a fourth of a cup to a half a cup of heavy cream if you want to kind of thicken the sauce up. But that is optional. Let that cook down a little bit. Right. So what I'm gonna do, because I want this sauce to reduce down some more, so it'll thicken up, is I'm actually going to fish out my shrimp so that the um, sauce can reduce down and cook a little bit more without overcooking the shrimp. Once it thickens up, then I'll add the shrimp back in there. All right. So I've gotten all the shrimp out. And what I'm gonna do is let this reduce a little bit more until it thickens up. And I'll throw back the shrimp in there and then throw the pasta, toss it with pasta and parsley and Parmesan and we'll be good to go. Right. So as you can see, the, the sauce has reduced about half and thickened up. This is where you would normally add the heavy cream if you did want to make it more of like a creamier um, sauce. Now what I'm going to do is add in Parmesan cheese about a fourth of a cup which what this will do is this will actually make it tighten up a little bit too. Then what I'm going to do is throw the shrimp back in there look at that that's parmesan cheese thickened up the sauce and now what I want to do is add my pasta So, draining the pasta. Adding a little bit of that in the side. I don't particularly care for a whole lot of pasta. So, 
Just want to get this incorporated. Yeah, there it goes. See how it's coating the pasta? And then you just add your parsley. And here you have it. This is shrimp scampi with angel hair pasta. All right, so I added a little pasta water just to thin it out a little bit. Now I'm going to serve. And now dinner is served. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, your family. Um, also, if you have recipes or you have dishes that you want to see me prepare, please feel free to leave those in the comments and I'll be more than happy to use those recipes to make different things with, or actually, to um, make the dish that you want to make. Just leave whatever dish you want me to make in the comments and I'll be more than happy um, to make it and videotape it. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and the Facebook page, Cooking with Gerald. Thanks for watching and you have a good afternoon. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and watching my video. Please leave me some comments down below and let me know what you thought about the video. Also, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, share this video with everyone that you know, and don't forget to click that notification bell in the top right hand corner of the screen so that you'll be notified each time I do upload a new video. You can also find me on other social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I also have a Facebook group, Cooking with Gerald, we post recipes and photos of dishes that we've cooked. All of my links to all these platforms are down below. Until next time, stay safe.